Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, we are going to expand multiple columns to rows in Power Query. So now that's a lot of words. What does it actually mean? Well, the use case is we have a little table like this where we have various expenses for our business. You see admin, rental, water, electricity. What we want to do is we want to take that total cost and we want to split it equally for each one of our offers, for each one of the business units within those offices. So if we look at something like the water and electricity expense you can see it over here total 2.6 we want to divide it up equally for london for all of its departments you can see and then for berlin so basically if you add all of these totals up it should be exactly the same as the total amounts so enough talking let me show you how to do it all right so our first step is always take this data get it into power query so select data and say from table and range pulls it into power query now i'm going to duplicate this step and I'm going to call this step or this query table columns. All right. So remember the requirement is to split the expense type and total cost per office location and business unit and any other column it might follow like country. So these two column names, I dynamically want to extract. I want to get the column name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say new step and say table column names. That's going to give us, I give it the table as an input, a list of all the column names, but now I want to exclude the expense type and total cost because that is not going to be part of the thing I want to dynamically split. I want to dynamically split office location and business unit, but exclude those two. So what do I do is I just say list because you can see this is actually a list now list select. And from this list, I want to select everything underscore not equal to expense type. But I want to have the expense type and underscore not equal to total cost. It's going to give me all the column names of the columns that I want to split by. Pretty cool. So let's quickly return this data to Excel. I just want to show you an example of that. If I go into the source and I added another column here called country and I refreshed it, country is going to form part of it. Pretty cool fresh there we go all right so what i want to do now is i want to take the values inside of these columns and i want to split it by that comma delimiter all right so i'm going to say new step table transform columns basically that takes existing columns and it transforms them because we want to transform those existing columns and if i did it if i hard cut it i would do something like this take the office location column and each text split underscore by the comma delimiter. So this would give me, if I hard coded it like this, you can see if I click there, it creates a list with all the office locations in. But I don't want to do it like that. I, I don't want to hard code it. I want to dynamically do it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to copy this out, say list transform and take our um, table column query which basically contains all of the column names and i'm going to say for each so basically each column inside of that list curly bracket now going inside of the values of each of those say each text split and we're going to split all the values inside of those columns by the comma and if i press enter here what you see here is it basically transformed the office location, the business unit into lists. You can see that pretty cool. All right. So the next step we want to do is we want to add a column here and we want to count the number of items in the office location for each row. So in this case, it will be two and the business unit would be four. We want to do a count of the items in the list of all of these columns. So we all do add a custom column. So in here, I quickly want to show you if we return an underscore, it will return a record. All right. If I open that record, I am going to say a record dot field and I want to return just a column name. Let's say total cost. What that will do is we'll return that specific field from the record. It's basically that one. That's not what I want to do. I want to look at specifically those two columns. I want to count both in those. So what I need to do is we'll start a little function and say let. And we're going to say I'm going to give a declare a variable name called row record. And I'm going to say this is the underscore comma. I'm going to add a counter equals. I want to take list transform and I want to take everything from my table column. And I want to go through each record record field of 
the record we have here is row record that variable that we declared and then the underscore close the bracket out in and then we just return the counter so what this is going to do is it's returning something useless basically from these two columns just returning a list of lists that's a good starting point but what we want to do now is we want to count the items in each of those lists so that one would be two and that one will be four so that should become a two and that should become a four so let's go back I'm going to add another step there say so list transform okay so we give that as the input and i'm going to say for each list count yeah underscore close the bracket out and now this if you look at that this will give me exactly what i want it does a list count so basically what it did is it counted everything in that list so if we look at this it says two and four that is two and that is four there should be three in office location and two in business unit so that says three and two what we want to do that however is you want to multiply that two by that four you want to get the product of three and two you're going to get the product of four and three in order to get what we want so i'm going to go back here and we just say your list product and we wrap all of that in there and this is going to give me the list product let's quickly test that last one is 16 which means this one is four one two three four that one is four so four times four is 16. all right so now that i have the product i want to take the total cost and i want to divide it by the number of office location and business unit by that product that we just uh, determined so we're going to go back into the add columns yes and all we're going to do here is it's actually quite simple. We're going to say take that total cost and divide it by the counter. So now you can see we have that that amount would be the amount allocated to each of the office location and business units to make up that total full cost. So that's the division amount, the equal division amount that's going to be allocated to each one of the office locations and business units. All right, so now that we have that amount we want to allocate it to each office location and business unit, we need to expand with those amounts. So what you traditionally do is you'll just click on that little thing and say expand to new rows. You see that the function that it uses table expand list to column. That's what we're going to use, but we want to do it dynamically on office location and business unit. We don't want to manually just expand like this. This is what we want to see, but I don't want to do it like that. So I'm going to take that away. We're going to use that table expand list column function. So we want to iteratively do that in one step instead of two steps. We don't want to hard code any name. So I want to use the table column and expand on anything, any tables that we can iterate through. So I'm going to say new. I'm going to use a function called list.accumulate. So list.accumulate is pretty cool. It's an iterator function, right? And it basically requires a seed, a list, a seed, and an accumulator. In this case, our list would be our table column names, right? Those two. Our seed would be, we're going to start out with this table. So this table name would be the seed. And the accumulator would be actually quite simple. It would just basically say, expand this table and this table uh, upon this base table. That's all we're going to do. So all we'll do that is, We'll go list accumulate. So we're going to give it a list. That list is actually our table column query. Yes, with all our column names in it. The seed is our starting base table, which is this table. So this table is called added custom. And now this is the tricky bit. We need to declare because it's an iterator function. It's got two things. It's got the state and the current. But I'm just going to keep with the normal convention of state you can give it any name actually but this will represent the state and the current value right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the table expand list column function that you saw in our previous example and i'm just going to say put the state in there put current in there close that bracket out and there you go you basically took that and you divide it up in equal portions to all the business uh, office location all the business units and you can return that result into excel 
Now, the cool thing about this approach is because we didn't hard code anything, we used dynamic column name. So what I can do is if I add country here, if I now rerun this, let's say we rerun this. So first rerun this. We'll have the country at table columns. And now if we look at this, it's actually going to consider the country as well and divide it up into that as well. So this is quite a cool dynamic approach to split, expand multiple columns to rows in Power Query. Pretty cool. And it's a pretty handy use case. You'll definitely run into this in some of your work problems. Anyway, that's it for today. BA Sensei signing out.